So, ngayon gagawa ako ng pastillas using um, powdered milk, condensed milk, and then ito, nilagyan ko ng konting Milo para may ibang flavor naman. So, I'm gonna mix it and I'll show you guys what's, how to do it. First, wash your hands. Okay, I'm back. This will get a little bit messy, so be prepared for that. So, ang gagawin natin ay we're going to mix the condensed milk. We're going to mix the condensed milk to the powdered milk. Pero konti lang kasi you don't want it to be like so runny or too hard. So, you just have to like eyeball it, I guess. Like that's enough. Mm -hmm. For this one, let's go there. I think it probably kailangan ng mas madami kasi wala pang it's not tapat parang dough feeling dough um, bread dough okay. let me see kung maayos ba ito very konti pa ng konti just a little bit mm, okay that's enough medyo ma-powdery pa, kaya more, a little more. I think this consistency is quite good. Minsan nag um, pag nilag nagla, naglagay ka ng madaming condensed milk, parang mag-expand yung yung um, ano to? Kasi you need to roll this up later pag masyadong madami ang condensed milk na lapat. There you go. Sorry sa mga taga, sa Tagalog ko. At hindi ako sanay. So that's good for this one. Para dito naman sa Milo. Mmm, it's brown. Oh, at um, kailangan mo din ng sugar. Ito pa lang powdered milk na ginagamit namin. Go milk ata. Go milk. Itong sugar na kailangan namin. I mean, kailangan natin. Put some right here sa mga lalagyan na ilalagyan. Lalagyan nyo ng mga pastillas para hindi mag dikit-dikit sa isa't isa. I'm doing two and ito para sa extra. 
para kay Lolo doy. Kaya. Just so it doesn't stick. Perfect. Oops. My mind is crazy. Okay, then wash your hands kasi dusty yun. I'm back again. Okay, ready? Hold your sleeves up. At ito naman, mga Milo. Konti lang, konting, konti lang. Okay, too much. Just mix it until it's a doughy consistency. A little, just a little, like about too much, too much. Mm. That is good. <clears throat> Something like that, hard, hard but not too hard. Okay, ang gagawin natin ay kukuha ka ng konting part ng mixture. Either small or big kung ano man ang gusto nyo. Then you mix it up. Oh, I forgot to add sugar on the this part. Then lang muna. Mix it up. Ganito ang manyayari. Tapos ilalagay mo dito. And there sugar coat it. And then, ilalagay nyo sa lalagyan para ma masarap. Don't worry, it's not too sweet. Then, you just mix it. Put in the sugar or whatever sugar you have. Kung nasaan man ang sugar. And then, you just keep doing that. And, ganyan gumawa ng pastillas. I'll see you guys later to show you the final products kung ano nangyari sa paggagawa ko. So yeah, see you guys later. This is how messy you can get. I took, I turned it, I rolled like the whole dough. I divided it into pieces, I rolled it up and then I took out some pieces from the dough and then put it on the plate first before I roll everything and put it in the sugar. Alam kong iniisip nyo na masyado itong matamis pero trust me, it's not. Kasi madami yung um, powdered milk compared to the condensed milk and then the sugar is just like a top coating I guess so it is very delicious try nyo kung gusto nyo it's just very makalat as in like super <laughs> and don't forget to wash your hands nasa pandemic tayo ngayon or anytime you deal with food you wash your hands As you can see, ginawa, gumawa ko ng mga maliliit, malalaki. And you just roll it. Para iba-iba. Hindi -iba. ko alam kung magiging ganitong kalinis yung isang batch na Milo. <laughs> Almost there. Three more. Tapos itong Ito pang dalawa. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Too much. And like, you roll it in the sugar para hindi magdikit-dikit like now. And you add it to You 
you add it to the container. I think that's good. Add it there, there, there. More there. More there. Oh wait, I think this is supposed to be for the other. The other container. <laughs> Never mind. Change can later. So, itong nanyari sa brown, sa Milo version ng pastillas. Okay naman siya. It's just a little bit sticky, pero okay naman. the finished products I added some here just for extra in case my grandmother wants some more and then I just put different um, the Milo one and the I put some Milo mixture here and then some Milo mixture over there this one is for us and then this big one right here is for my grandmother and then I put the extra condensed milk in here so I could put it in the fridge for next time I make pastillas again. So, yes! So, after you, you put it in these Tupperwares or con containers. I don't know what they, you call them, but yeah. You just close them up, give them a little bit of shake so that the sugar is distributed evenly. Thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel like and subscribe and even like this video if you want and i hope to see you guys again it is right now it's um spring break here so i had time to do a video but i'm sorry if i haven't been doing any videos lately my dad does have a channel though so follow him at or no as official and you can see how carpentry um what a handyman does here in the LA, in LA. So see you guys. Bye.